Hello friends, welcome in Tech Reboot. In this video, I am going to show you how you can fix this problem that WAMP server cannot start properly. It's showing the program cannot start because msvcr110.dll is missing from your computer. Try reinstalling the program to fix this problem. After clicking on the icon, it shows this error and clicking OK, you can see here only the red icon is present. Then it converts into the orange but never colors to green. So WAM server not working properly. You can find many videos and blogs they show their tricks but that is not fix your problem properly. I will provide you a complete solution of this problem. After that you no need to browse anymore and it save lots of your time. Let's start. First you need to uninstall the WAM server because it is badly affected or you can say it as an installation problem. So we need a fresh installation at a proper way. First open control panel then go to the uninstall program then find WAMP server and then click on uninstall then choose yes to completely remove WAMP server from your computer. Yes it is mine boys just for fun. I am just want to not bore you, just want to make fun. After WAM server is successfully removed from your computer, open your favorite browser, then just search for WAM server download. Then the first link will be official WAM server link. Click on it and this is the WAM server site. You need to just click on the start using WAM server. Just click on this. Then you can see this page. WAMP server 64 bit or 32 bit architecture are available. Just make sure that what is your architecture. Go to my computer or this PC and click properties. And then you can see the version here. And as your architecture you download 64 bit or 32 bit. As I am using 64 bit so I am click on this x64. And you can see the warnings. You need to click on this link and you see this page. This is a Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable for Visual Studio 2012 update 4. It help WAM server to work properly. And WAM server also need this. Just select your language. I am going with English. And just make sure that the previous WAM64 folder is not present in your local disk C or the previous installation directory and click on download and I am 64 bit I can only use 64 bit but for the problem fixing I am downloading both of these to completely fix that no problem may arise you can see the installation instruction click on start download wait for the download completes after downloading that two files just open that two files one by one and click on this I agree the license agreement and click on install and for the next file do the same I agree with the license agreement and click on install it will install in a second then you install your WAM server you can download it from that official site or as I am downloaded previously I am just going to install it click on ok and li accept license agreement click on next and then select the location and next and next finally click on install and it will successfully install it will take some time after installation it will ask for your browser that which browser do you want as default i am selecting chrome as a default browser and i am selecting notepad plus plus for the default editor just click on this next button to install PHP my admin and click on the finish and it is properly installed let's see it is working or not click on this one server icon now you can see it is running yes here is the green icon that the two services mysql and php both are running you can see the all services are running and it is working properly thank you please like and share and comment your suggestion and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you